Float stone. I'll save this for future Xerneas. Rainbow Force. 220 damage. Well, hello, Nobles and the Frenchels. It's Donald. Welcome back to my kitchen. In all days, menu, I'll be serving you the strongest fairy deck in Pokemon right now. Mm hmm. God of War GX? Ah, I think it's too slow. It's hard to get one shots with that anymore. This deck, faster, more damage, one shots, everything. And you can do it on your second turn. I mean, with, it's easier on your third turn, but second turn, yes, nothing, nothing has enough hit points to survive this stack. Yeah, at least base hit points. I know you can do that out of some special magic, but it's much faster and more powerful than your average deck. So, uh, yeah, you just, you know, it's been strong. You just have to update it with the new card. So here we go. I'm going to explain to you how the Xerneas Rainbow Road Xerneas deck works, and you're going to see it in four very, very awesome matches. Yeah, we're going against two metal decks. Weakness? Whatever, we'll just one-shot them all. And Glissopods. Ugh. Okay, so let us get started. Alright, today's intro is going to be Ultra Necrozma. Whenever we're doing a really good deck, we have to play that theme, at least until the next expansion, because I'll find out what a really cool song is. But let's get started, Xerneas! Let me just cut to you, Chase, and what's going on here. Rainbow Force. This attack right here is the damage where all your damage is coming from. Now, you can abuse this because you can set this up very easily. It does 30 damage for every bench Pokemon of a different element. And it's like, whoa! I mean, if you didn't know anything about Pokemon, you're like, oh, that's gonna be hard to do and seems weird. But it's not with deck thinners and dual types. Now, deck thinners, we know. It's just how you set up very quickly. And that's just why you're gonna be able to abuse that in this particular deck, much more so than others. Now, dual types! Hey, Volcanion, you're firing a water type. One bench base, 60 damage, basic. Yeah, you have to be in the deck. Easy enough to scale. Can we do more? Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, this has to evolve once. It's a stage one, but very easy to do. It's a dark and metal type. And it has a nice attack, which you don't really want to, you know, fight with this. You're going to lose 60 damage in the future. But if you really had to, if one of your Xerneas or any Pokemon was knocked out, you can do 120 damage. That's two shot! And if they're weak to dark or metal, that might be worth it to get that two prize card. But still, it's your last resort. Okay, so it actually does, let's see, 30. Total of 90, you will need a choice, man. But you generally still don't shouldn't fight with that. So, so far we got 60 here, 60 here. That's 120, can we do more? Yeah, yeah! Now Xerneas itself counts as... A fairy type on the bench. So that's, you know, that's a given there. So that's five different types. 150, can you do more? Yes. Banana Master. They're not Banana Master. Easy one. Sit on your bench. And because you have so many deck dinners, you can just dump your entire hand, keep drawing, keep setting up quickly. And that's why he's necessary for this. And finally, your good old Coconut Master. Yeah. You can fight with a DCE backup fighter, and it's just good for setting up in Alpex in general. But you're only gonna have one, because your bench must be really colorful, so there's no... Yeah, you don't want more than two, uh, two, two of these on your bench. That hurts your damage. So, all of that add together, how many do we have? Two, four, six... Well, these two together are six, seven. Seven, that's 210 damage. Give him the choice, man. That's 240 damage. And finally, that 10 damage they fair is 250. Most of these are basics you can drop down. The only thing you need to evolve is this to get 250. As if 210 was, you know, not good enough. Yeah. So that's how the deck works, which is five bench space only. All right, so the rest of the deck, we have lots of items. We just want to dump them all, drop them, fill up your bench quickly, and charge up quickly. So first of all, you max elixir. This is a critical part. How do you get Xerneas charged up quickly? Max elixir. Yeah, it charges up a fairy Pokemon, any Pokemon on your bench, with a single fairy energy. It works on a basic, which is why you need Xerneas. However, it allows for a single turn charge, which is big, because Xerneas doesn't have that much hit points. That's a weakness. 
It's very, very, very easy to KO, but it KOs on the Pokemon easily. Nice trade-off. A little too easily. This is above average for other Pokemon. So with a Max Elixir and a Double Colorless Energy, you can easily use Rainbow Force in one turn. Yeah, have several Xerneas ready to go. So, what else? You don't want your bench space to get destroyed. If it was, you'd still be okay. You got dual types. You wouldn't be able to one-shot stage one GX though. Basic GX, still destroyable. So, is that word? Sure. So, Parallel City slows your opponent and protects your opponent's, well, protects your side from Parallel City. They'll have to manually remove it and they can't replace it directly. So that's uh, protection right there. Always use protection. Anything else? I think that is it. This is a basic template, deck template for the rest. And Zornius, you want me, sh want me to show you how fast and strong this deck is in real matches? Here we go, let's get started. Zernius Break, no, it's not Zernius Break, it's Rainbow Road Match. I'm gonna play my remix of this is, uh, it's not showing up the right song. Classroom of the Elite, from that particular romance anime. It's a well beat. Okay, so both focusing back on the game. You pulled Cynthia, really? Not Bridget? Yeah, it's like my Bridget's rise up. I'm stuck. All right, so we uh, we're going. Hey, wait a minute. There are two Magnemites. Ah, you know that's fine. They evolve into the same metal type, and we are a fairy deck, but it does not matter. Our damn. Oh, there's no the Crossbow. There's no nothing. That's a pretty slow star for him. So, all right, primary Pokemon that I need to charge up with energies is Xerneas. And uh, you have a float zone because you're not gonna stay up front. The problem is that there are... Wait, can I pull? No, I can't. I can't. The problem is that there are two of these, so if I shut one down, the other one's gonna go online. Hang on. Oh my gosh. Heck yes, that means we get the full first hit. And we have a one bench Pokemon right now, which means I need to throw down another one. Actually, you know, the Xerneas counts, so that's actually enough damage. So we definitely retreat. We get to attack on turn one. How awesome and awesome is that? We also get to play... Be greedy. You know what? I need to evolve something. There's a Pokemon that needs to evolve, although this will give me a lot of damage. Evolution, let me see. Oh, both of them are prized up. Well, in that case, priority will now go to Volcanion, which is two, yeah, two different colors. And you want to be greedy, Donald? Yeah, yeah, I'll be greedy. I'll pull some extra cards. DC for the next turn, sure. Rainbow Force, here we go. Opening turn one with 130. That was not a GX Pokemon, so could have been 160. And I, I don't think uh, we, we weren't as lucky. We could have maybe pulled something else. So, you know, you got to keep your uh, this card alive. And I want to hunt that down because once this goes down, we are good. All right, Float Zone. I only got one single energy, so it's not able to attack me. Guzma, the big heavy Pokemon out. Lame. That is a good move. Luckily, we do have a retreat. And, oh, man. I can't definitely can't second more of this. Ah, he's like, I wish it wasn't the cross, but maybe he might be here. He might be here. Okay, so what do we do? Well, it's another card we need. Ah, we need a retreat, but we need it to play. Oh, he is definitely, definitely stuck. He's got Banana Master, but hasn't been able to pull that yet. There's a Guzma for a future turn. Want to take that, that away? Not really. Not really. We're going to wait here. So, I know with the mat this is the big threat. That is the big, big, big threat. Am I going to take... Uh, let's wait for it. Let's wait for it. I know he's got the stadium somewhere. The Field Blower. Okay. Ah, that's why we have tons. We have four uh, Boca Tools. No, no, no. Four Choice Bands, three Float Stones, and oh no, my retreat went away. But that's what he needs to do to catch up. So I'm hunt I'm looking. I'm eyeing on this Magnemite big time. And he's like, ha! I end the way your retreat. You had a Guzma in your hands? Not there anymore. Yeah, we can still shrink our hands. Uh, we have three energy. That's kind of hard to shrink. Everything else I can uh, definitely uh, do. So I'm not sure. Maybe I'll pay the energy to retreat. And while this thing sets up, and that's a big danger. All right, I'll just let it be. You can have your way uh, for now. Let me see how many items were actually removed too. Yeah, we got lots of spares. Let's see what we can do with this. And as well, so I may be able to get some retreats. Okay, we're gonna play this right here. A choice band right here. And giving him an extra hand. It's like, hey, thanks, buddy. Well, I'm just trying to find a retreat for myself. And, uh, there's a retreat for myself again, so. All right, end it right there. Come on, don't flip it away this time. I've got it, it's in my hand. Okay, I'll check it out too now. Wow, four choice, man, I usually run three. Yeah, that's a nice number, but you really needed this for one-shot KOs. 
Well, you know, this actually... I think this is more of a threat. I mean, it's the one that attacks, and then, but then if this shows up, then, you know, he gets infinite energy, and he gets momentum no matter what, regardless, afterwards. So, I'm still eyeing on the Magneton. Alright, Floatstar, ready to go back? Not yet, not yet. Except I definitely got my Volcanion stuck. Uh-oh, this is coming out. Can it get an energy already? I don't think so. Why'd you send that out front? Okay, took the Fighting Fear Bell away. Without choice, man, are you ready to defeat this Volcanion? Is that too early? Or maybe it's a... Uh... Oh, I see. That's why. That's why. That's why you're a threat, man. Now I don't have enough damage if this thing is KO'd. He probably is going to discard everything for it, so we probably have to take this down. That is lame. That is very, very, very bad. He got me stuck with the Volcanion because of my, uh... Yeah, with the flipping away my retreats. Now I'm going to lose this, but it's working. That means I can't go for a straight Guzman for this. I won't have enough damage. One, two, three. Three is not enough. Right? Yeah, three is not enough. We got to recycle that. All right, so you got to go and out there and fight. We can defeat this, but, you know, whatever comes out is going to get me. All right, we can, let's do the recycling now. I have to play Professor Sycamore, because one, two, three, it's not enough. Nobody else needs energies. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to drop this all down. All right, we got it. We got the Volcanion back. There we go. And that should be enough. Now we got this, too. All right, so let's go ahead and charge you up right here. Float stone, I might just hold on to it. Nobody needs an energy. Here, you can have some revenge. If I actually pull the, that, then it'll be okay. So I'm gonna hold on to these because it's more, uh, more, uh, you know, it's useful. Let's count one, two, three, four, five with a choice band. We got it. We got it. 190 damage. One shot that GX there. Come on, pull one of the evolution cards on the other Volcanion and uh, Polnard. Ah, it's one of the last two. So, yeah, it's good. It's okay. It is okay. We already have another Xerneas raid to go. Couldn't pull. Uh, couldn't find the other ones. Oh, weak to fairy, weak to me. Kind of, kind of cool. No, no Necrozma though. But Necrozma, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Metal Necrozma will be able to uh, three hit this. Get the threat, yeah. Yeah, but we have to work with what cards we have. All right, two energies back. Coconut Master has enough to defeat this. But we have enough to defeat the Coconut Master. We just need to make sure we have another attacker in the next turn. Actually, no. This is getting charged up. We might have enough for a GX. That'd be pretty, pretty crazy. Good thing we're, we're already, we're, we might be ready for that. Professor Sycamore waiting for more energies to go for the GX. That is scary. I said I didn't like you, but, you know, I'm pretty sure Necrozma would be do better. Oh, man. That means he gets a double KO. He gets, does 80 damage. Well, he, get, he gets a Xerneas. Now, wait a minute. This is too... Who are you attacking with? I'm thinking you're gonna GX. You're gonna GX this. He <laughs> wants the Guzma, yeah, all right. we'll see. I can afford to, uh, let's, the first hit's gonna do 150, so I'll get KO'd. And then the next hit, probably not so much. All right, a little bit risky, but if I throw, uh, I, I know I have a spare Volcanion, so Volcanion's tanky, he'll live. I'll throw him out at his turn again, regrettably. But the damage potential at, at least is low, and there's no energy, so these two shouldn't be able to do something. Dang, dang, man. This Dialga. Coming out to just snipe me off. Yeah. This is going to be no good. Two turns in. Hopefully, he's uh, going to be stuck on energies. Nope. Nope. I just threw away three prize cards. Hang on. Let me see the damage. He needs a fourth damage or a choice band. A fourth energy or a choice band, that is. I thought it was tanky, but it's like, no, 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 I got it. I got this. I wonder if he's already activated this. Because he can still retreat and didn't activate that. So I really want to keep this alive. Big, big, big time. Oh, man. We didn't land. We can't let these guys keep the stadium. We don't have any ends. No ends came around this time uh, for me. End? Oh, one end came. One end came. 
Cartana GX. Ugh. Comes down to remove that DCE abide. Jerk. You're a jerk. Pull in an extra card out, please don't be an energy so I can live. Feel blower. Man, he's disabled me. This feels bad. Shred. Ugh. Okay, well, you're alive. Got another Zerdians to charge up. Let's see if we can pull a DC out of the deck there. Bingo, it's ready to go. Weakness damage, we're good. Floatstone, who gets to get the last bench space? It should be Coconut Master for max damage, but this is all basic, so I might throw him down. Let's go ahead and retreat that. Yeah, you know, we're gonna play Professor Sycamore. Nah, I'm gonna save it. I am gonna play the Floatstone, though. I don't need that. I don't need that. Luckily, he didn't get the KO. Okay. Let's see. Back, if this hits, it's gonna be big for me. Shoot. 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 This is thinning. If he ends away, I don't want it. Alright, Parallel City. You just can't keep that stadium there. Yeah. And that's gonna throw away, you know, maybe some of his potential. He'll definitely throw Cartana. It's already got its use. Maybe Banana Master. and That'll get him stuck. Oh, Kokomo Master goes, too. All right, so let me see if we can recycle DCEs. Yeah, we get two DCEs back. They're gonna be critical, critical, critical. And I'm gonna pull one of these here, so we're good. Take the Poke 2 away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you hit me so much with that. Yeah, and I can still get another card. This last spot saved for Coconut Master. All right, that is it. We're gonna go Rainbow Force. Weakness damage, didn't need the weakness damage. And one of these has to be the Bisharps, the double prize Bisharp. Ah, that's why I can get the ends there. All right, no stadium for you. You'll get the KO, and I won't have enough damage. Yeah, I'll have a... Uh, if I evolve this, it has an attack, but the attack was metal type? Oh, dang, that's not enough. Okay, so we're going to have to send Banana Master by me time or something, because I still need two turns. I'm going to do whatever it takes. I mean, I got one prize card. I just need to charge it up, but he cartoned my... He cartoned my guy, so... All right, DB... DB Star says, I'm no fan of the current meta decks. I like oddballs. Oh, I'm glad you enjoy that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, rapid blast out. Okay. Let me see. There are not too many Xerneas left in my deck. Actually, there are two. I can actually send the uh, Coconut Master out the next turn. Yeah, and get this halfway done. He'll be able to KO me, but if he does do that, he loses. And I'll have to wait for a Guzma. Okay, let's go ahead and evolve that. I think that may be what I do. It's the closest way to victory. And if he takes a Pokemon, Bisharp is already to uh, get revenge. So I just really want a Guzma in my hand right now. Actually, he'll, if he one-shots Coconut Master, I lose the game. So I can't do that. And he has enough damage. He's so close to having enough damage to do that. I can't do that. It's too risky. It's too dumb and risky, Donald. We're gonna play this. We just need a lot of cards. He doesn't already doesn't have that, that many cards in his hand. Actually, you have a... Uh, you could get Guzma. You can actually pull Guzma with this. And then uh, I had 40 damage on Tapu Lele. Is there anybody weak enough to finish off? No, there was not. All right, Cynthia's the... Mm, Cynthia's pretty good. I can play Professor Sycamore. But I'd rather just Cynthia. It's more safer that way. All right, so we're going to do this if he has any wins. I still need two turns. Unless I pull a Max Elixir, then I... I got it. Got it. Nope, don't got it. I got no Max Elixir yet. Let's go ahead and drop the Super Rot down. No, 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 that's okay. Alright, we gotta wait. If, he, if he's got Guzma, he might still... We might still be okay. This is it. This is it. This is it. That's not a Guzma. That is not a Guzma. It means Banana Master will go down, but we'll be able to summon him back with the Super Rod and Ultra Ball combo. So he's got to do something. That was not a Guzma. This thing is 220 hit points, but I think we'll be able to hit that mark. Unless he does something, removes an energy, and I'll be in big trouble. No, that's that. That is that. Okay. So 220 damage for this deck? Yeah. 
Yeah, I think I got it. Let's see. Let's see. Slow this out here. All right. So all we do is attach the energy. We uh, play like this until we get back to Banana Master. Energy, and then uh, let's get the Xerneas too. So we need to play the Ultra Ball now. <sighs> now that gets me the white color. So since I don't have a, one of those, and I don't have a fairy color, and this is full damage. This is 250 damage, I believe. Yeah, 250 damage. Rainbow Force, 250 damage. Nothing, uh, not even a Stage 2 GX survives that. Ooh, it got a little tight there. It got a little tight there. All right. All right, all right, all right. Sweet. Welcome to another Rainbow Road Batch. I am going to play my remix of This Is Never Ever Land from Nano. It's playing, it's playing, it's playing. Okay, so. Wow, we got both of the dual types here. The ones I have to evolve at least. So, I'm thinking this is Galissopod. Anyways, either way, if I attack first, if this energy doesn't get removed, I'm in pretty good shape. Take a look at this, we have... Wow. This is a very good uh, reshuffle. So let's hope the energy doesn't, uh, you know, get taken away by the hand hammer. These deck tends to run, you know, several of them, so... Well, that means you should charge up the back Xerneas if this one uh, doesn't last. Let's see, I do have resistance against Zorark, so it decides to fight. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. So, Coconut Master comes out, it's like, oh! Here I come with a Bridget. Those two, hand in hand, uh, in today's meta. Yeah! I kinda wish you have a Glaceon for this. But, uh, maybe we have the Gl Dave Glaceon, uh... Well, it's coming. It's coming. So, Bridget, what will you summon? Wimpods, Zora, Zoruas, maybe Banana Master. If you have Banana Master, I will high five you here right out in there, man. Da, da, da. Wow, I missed the deck profile. This looks cool, huh? Uh, this is a, see my secret deck. Uh, it looks like oh wow, Wimpod is a card that gets a one shot hit on uh, yeah on on on, on Xerneas. But we do get to play this again, so let's see. We do need another Xerneas. That's important. Yeah. I'll get a one-hit KO, but he'll get a one-hit KO back, because I don't have a... Uh... Yeah, I have the card to we'll KO that. Here we go. Let's play Professor Sycamore. All right, we got a Choice Man, of course. I have plenty of Choice Man, so I'm going to go ahead and toss that down. We're going to use Rainbow Force and open up on 190 damage. So but when I play Coconut Mass, ooh, that's what I want. Yeah, now the trick is getting, ho hoping this doesn't get KO'd because Galissopod is a card that can KO this in one little hit. So he's gonna wait for that one. All right, let's see, he opened up with Bridget. Is he holding another draw? That's the deal, he does have a Galissopod. Actually, if he plays an energy and switches in, he'll be able to attack, so that's all there is to it. The energy is gonna go into the back line. Yeah, there we go. Another Coconut Master, two Coconut Masters eating up, eating up his bench space, okay. Dalton, oh, have any plans to build the new Dark Ride deck? Yeah, I do. I do. All right, so he actually put the energy here, so the energy can't be used to retreat. Let's see what he pulled out. He pulled Zorua. So there's only one Glissopod. This is the only card that can one-hit me. And if this card survives, it is the world, man. It is the world. So let's hope he doesn't draw a stones. That's seven cards. He's played one right there. There's at most three. Okay, now he gets another pull card pull with Zorark, so... The energy, I mean, it's a double colors energy. He's like, okay, I'll just lose this Arua. I'll come one shot this next turn. It wasn't a Guzma. It could have been a, no, it couldn't have been a Guzma. Because Guzma, you, Guzma forces one of my Pokemon to back out. So he's looking for a retreat right now. It can't be an energy. It has to be exactly be this Floatstone. And there can only be up to three. Usually there's only, I have three Floatstones in my deck, so. Ooh, what you pulling for? Ooh, throwing away a Guzma too. He really, really wants to one-hit the Xerneas. All right, all the, the whole full line is up now. Or at least to remove the double colors energy, because that would stop me too. That's up in the front there. Paying up everything to pull the floats. Oh, no, he didn't trade. He's like, I whatever need it, they need that card. All right, this is the only thing that can one-shot me. I do 190 right now. If I want the KO, this card has to be played. So I have to do it. Let's see, do you have a free retreat? Yeah, you got a free retreat. 
Energy goes here. This is the only card that can KO me. That's why you gotta come out. And you gotta leave. And now I did 190 last turn on a baby Pokemon. This card has to be played down. Yeah, would you like to search your deck for another draw? I do. I do. It's play her called Cynthia. Because I can't afford to play another end next turn. Alright, that is it. Here we go. Rainbow first on a Glissopile. One hit KO it. And there we go. That is the only card. I'm now in the safe zone. You cannot, you cannot one-shot me without that Glissopod due to resistance. Alright, there's that. Did, uh, Jack Modib, did anything help out the King Rainbow Road? Not directly, not directly, but, you know, things like this help conserve cards. You still can just destroy Pokemon's one hit at a uh, time, so, uh-oh! Playing the end, getting a nice full hand, and then I only get three. Banana Master DCE! Oh, man! The cards I need, I don't have any bench space for Banana Master, but, well, that's how it goes. So, but this is a pretty good hand! And with double double draw on Zora arcs, it's kind of scary. I know he, he'll land the cards he'll want, probably. The card I'm afraid of, this looks like... So I'm just, I haven't seen the Enhance Hammers. I'm pretty lucky this that, 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 that hasn't been, you know, flowing. Yeah, usually if this is uh, towards exact deck build, deck copy, then the Enhance Hammer's gonna come somewhere. Now we do not have another, uh... Let's see, we do not have another, um... I would say Guzma in their hand, because I don't want to take a Zerua. Yeah, this is what happens. Like, oh, I really wish you were down there, Banana Master. Counter Catcher, gonna pull that to buy some time. Okay. Actually, he might not... He'll, he'll just take this out. And that frees up bench space for him. You! Yay! Alright, I, I lost the Choice Man too, so gotta worry about that. So I'm losing, uh, I have to count my damage. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, so it's not enough to get a KO. Out of way, you have to shoot this thing. So, by pulling that out, yeah, I really hunted, uh, got my damage out. Wow, top decked it! I top decked! Oh, thank you! I'm the, I'm the luckiest man in, in, in the world today. I am the luckiest man in the world. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You also get a float zone, the heaviest Pokemon. Yeah, that goes there. We got a Guzma. So there are two threats here. I better just shoot the one that's in front. Rainbow Force. One shot to Zora Art. One hit KOs. So take that town map. Choice, man. Oh, man. We can see 250 KOs. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. This is a lot of firepower. And there's the card that can one-hit KO me. Coming back out, but not too... It's too late. It is too late. The resistance. The resistance really, really kills this. Okay, so... Yeah, this is my... This is my, uh... Hidden... Hidden, uh, deck that I think... I'm pretty sure could be played in the meta. So you go... Yeah. The firepower on this deck is... Rainbow Road is amazing. Very, very, very amazing. So, uh, this will really work with the Bridget build, so maybe that's why people are like, oh, you know, if it's not compatible with Bridget, Skyfield, thrown away, but now, well, there's a way to make it work with the right setup. So, uh, let's see. We can, uh, we, ha we have two Xerneas ready to go. We can totally destroy whatever. Usually, I think this is Hands Hammer surprised up. Although this definitely isn't the exact build of Tours. Maybe, you know, Hammers. Not uh, they're not useful every game. Guzma pulls out the next heaviest Pokemon. You don't have time for that. No, well, actually, this these dual elements, that's good. He, he took out 60 damage, so I don't have a one-shot anymore. So my damage went from 250. And it went down 60. That doesn't it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I have a Guzma. I have Guzma. I have Guzma. So who's next in line to battle? If it were, it'd be this card. What's in my last prize card? All right, we're being uh, we're being a little uh, silly here. So we already won. We just pulled out the Coconut Master, Rainbow Force, 190. So Noah would not have been able to take on the Zorark, and he knew he knew what was up. He's like, oh yeah, Rainbow Road, take out those dual weakness Pokemons. I mean, sorry, dual type Pokemons that really lowers the damage. But the damage was already done. We one shot at those uh, GX Pokemons, two uh, stage one GX Pokemons. Stage 1's right. Yeah, 2's the next stage. Alright, that is that. 
Okay. Welcome to another Rainbow Road match. Oh, I gotta do the coin flip. Hey, psychic powers. I actually don't mind him going second door first. But, uh, you know, let's try to guess the coin flip anyways. I want to uh, think it's heads. Yeah, psychic powers. You think it's heads? No, Donald. It's tails. Click tails. Do it. Yes. Okay, I believe you. Psychic powers. <gasps> psychic powers. I knew it was heads. Why'd you make me pick tails? Because I want you to go second. <laughs> anyways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome to another Rainbow Road match. I said that. Uh, today's uh, giveaway winner. Or at least, uh, yeah, winner. Uh, well, it, on Twitch is Apples and Shoes. Yes, yes, yes. So, uh, good luck to you, Apples and Shoes. I'll be playing Rainbow Road. And I'm going to be uh, doing a new remix. We're going to do, use a new remix that I've done over the weekend. So, here it is. It's from a TV show I like. And our very the latest season was over. New season starting in October-ish. Yeah, yeah. So if you know it, yeah, yeah, we could be, uh, we could be, uh, we can, uh, we can talk about this all day. Uh, okay, so let's get started. Oh, Volcanion, it's waiting for me. Volcanion, that's the only Pokemon I can start with, and then you know we got some nice Bridget kind of stuff. And following up with a draw supporter is big too. All right, here we go. Volcanion up. That guarantees me I have at least sixty damage when Xerneas is charged up. Okay. I'm wondering if I should drop this Ultra Ball. Uh, would you like to draw a card? Yeah, I'd like to draw a card. Yeah, I need one of these down. And it's going to be... What is he playing? He's playing the new Galissopod. Now, I mean new is the upgrade Galissopod. Opening up with a bridge too. Nice when you don't have to coconut master it out. It just starts right in your hand. Yes! I love my Jiren. You know, I gotta catch up with him and keep him compete. So, he does have a one-shot if he, you know, has a Guzma and a... Yo, energy Guzma. That's the bad, the worst thing I they can have in his hand. There's an energy. So if he evolves and has Guzma, all my Xerneas will be defeated in one hit. And that's bad. Of course it is. Of course it is. So let's see what we do. Okay, we do have the Max Elixir, but I can thin my deck and this makes Max Elixir a little bit better. And more accurate too. So priority. Priority goes to something that needs to evolve. There we go. This is a big priority because he's only one of four of these in my deck, and they allow me to charge up quicker than normal. Now, if I land a DCE with this, I can attack this turn. Okay, now I have to retreat. You need a choice band right now this turn? I have enough choice bands. I'm going to go ahead and guarantee. Uh, I'm going to try to set up another Pokemon right now, which is, uh, let's see, Banana Master? Banana Master... It was Xerneas or Banana Master. Banana Master may allow me to get more cards and even more setup. Uh, you no, know, we can't play either of those cards. But, but hey, it could have helped. It could have helped. So, something good for next turn. Uh, we don't have a retreat this time, so we're going to leave it be for now. And yeah, we throw away our... Ch yeah, we threw away the choice, man, unfortunately, for the, that Ultra Ball. So, leaving it here. Damage is pretty good. We do have a retreat. Now, I'm just wor worried. He just needs a Guzma and Galissapod, and I, I, um, I'm gonna have to play a very, very hard time to catch up. So, just waiting this one out. What you got is another Bridget. Ugh, multiple Bridgets. It's, it's, you need, you need a bunch to, to, to make it secure, but you don't get any draws with that, so. That's what I, that's what I don't like about Bridget's system. Alright, so, uh, yeah, it's wide open for me. But if he does evolve something, I'll be exposed. He can always jump in and do a little combo here. So that's going to be tricky. This is also two prize card too. Sad face? Yeah. All right, we are able to secure another Pokemon. So we're going to do that. We're going to drop away two cards. You know, Fairy Energies DC is a little bit more important. I need to make sure I have more Xerneas ready in the future turns. And I, I can still, once I play Guzma, I can still get extra cards. So, going for the threat or going for the prize cards, and this helps, you know, help, helps him combo much more easier. So I think that's what I'm going to go for. Let me check my damage though, that I can take this out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, let's see. 1, 2 is 60, 120, 180, 180, I got 180. I got 180 now. This is going to be giving me more prize cards and it stops the combo. And I also get two more cards with Banana Master, I have to play uh, Guzma first. Yeah, not bad. That's 
No, we have to. We, uh, we can't do anything else. Rainbow Road. Sorry, Rainbow Force. 190 damage. Take two prize cards, building me a little bit more momentum. Parallel City will, you know, lower the Glissal Pods. Counts a little. Yeah. So we're, we're ready. Absolutely ready for next turn as well. And he's got finally, he drew his first draw supporter. Now, whatever, he has enough damage to take me out. And run away too. There we go. It's evolved. So he has two attacks. He could use Armor Press. Or he could use the GX, pop the GX, escape, and uh, yeah, that would be bad. Because then if he follows with Guzma, that would be bad too, so, hmm. What do we do? We're gonna definitely get a soup rod. Zernies, I mean, I just need another energy. I think I have Cynthia will pull me that energy. Yeah, yeah, soup rod will also give me some energies back too. The energies I need, so it'll load up my deck with fairies. A little bit better time to pull that, another Galissal Pod coming out. This is kind of tricky. Kinda, kinda. We need to finish this Galissal Pot. It's gonna run away, but the fact that he can hide the back and Guzma me is gonna be bad. Alright, but then I'm asking working, uh, working too. Extra card pulls on both sides. Float stone on this one. Okay, so you're gonna send this as the shield of sorts. Okay. Here we go, cross and cut GX. Gotta get rid of that. And yeah, gotta probably replace. What a one prize card KO guy. So we easily retreat into that. Okay, a little tricky here. A little, little tricky what I need to do. I could fight with this, but then uh, that would suck because then I lose 20 damage. And I gotta need it. It's a tough decision. Send the Bisharp out or send the Xerneas out. Uh, this is gonna hurt my damage in the future, but I need you. Uh, yeah, but then I, I I waste a card, potentially a good card. I need both of them. Okay, I'll send this guy out. I don't want to take a whip out with that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So let's do what I was said uh, I was gonna do. Here we go. We're gonna go ahead and throw this out right here. I feel bad using Pokemon as a shield, says uh, says uh, Satoshi. Uh, you gotta do it. You gotta do it. All right. So he has to throw one Pokemon out. Probably, probably the Wimpod. I mean, he's got four of them out already. Yep. We're gonna go ahead and play that Super out there. Grab these back. No of these Pokemon need DCE. That's a little bit expensive to just waste on a Bisharp. Alright, so we do get the we don't get any energies, unfortunately. We got unlucky with that pool. I need another one of these guys down. However, I'm gonna try to hinder his retreat by playing this right here. I think it's three retreats, so if it doesn't have this, then neither is in the cross. You can't put, drop anything down. We may be okay. That you know that now I can't. Now he has, this thing's kind of expensive and to retaliate. I was, I had meant to retaliate, but yeah, I had the energy. I just didn't want the DCE to be used and uh, one of my valuable DCEs to be used here. So I was going to Cynthia that one energy here. It's not enough to retreat. I so said, this is what I was afraid of. You just have a Guzma. You can just one shot the Xerneas and I'm going to have to wait and be behind. And now, if I may follow with the end, giving him uh, more cards. First impression. One shots of my Xerneas. It's, uh, it's gonna be, uh, it's tough. So. Ooh, uh, la, 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 la. They are tanky enough. I got the bench space to throw another one down if it goes down, but I'll be in a perilous position if that happens. Yeah, so he just wants all the Guzmas just to one shot them all. Okay, so we uh, we gonna get an extra card, four prize cards still for. Well, I gotta, yeah, I take two turns. He's in a very 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 uh, good position. So, let's see. If I if I get another Xerneas, and then uh, if I, this energy works, that means he'll take one Xerneas down with another Guzma, but at least one is will be rate available to go. So end it right there. There's a little bit of waste of space. So I'm going to need a Choice Bands and DC next turn to get the KO here. Alright. So, five cards. Nothing to do about that. It's... Yeah, it's tough. It's tough. 
Let's see if we uh let's see if we can uh let's see how many goosebumps we use one. So with this sort of deck, you expect four. One shot, one shot, one shot, one shot on the Xerneas. Okay. Don't got any bench space. This is the only thing I can do. Maybe you should have kept it? Maybe not. Still let me check the float stone counts. Ultra Ball, shrinking his hand. He can't throw Coconut Master down until this thing is removed, though. He does have an end card. Maybe he's um, he's gonna evolve this Glissopod. I think that's the only Pokemon that you can play right now. Yeah, uh, yeah. Hello, uh, Side No Likes. Let's see, Side No Likes. Nasty combo. Yeah, it's just the uh, hit points are a little bit low here. One energy. It's more efficient than I am with the energy cost. Does have a retreat. DCE here too, all charged up. Pulling three cards. Now let's see. He didn't he didn't play a supporter yet? He's just just give me the he's he's saying just give me the DCEs. Give me these. I'm sorry. Give me Guzma so I can just one shot these out. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So Parallel City probably probably blocked the Coconut Master. Because that Coconut Master would have come down and brought in those uh, Xerneas. So we have to do that to protect ourselves as well. He swapped. And let's see what attacks he does. I'll live, unfortunately. I kind of don't want to. So I can, uh, uh, you know, don't have to worry about retreating. And this is two prize cards. And we'll see what he does. He does have a Guzma. Yeah. That's, that's uh, yeah. That's a, that's a pain. And many uh, many cards to uh, follow up with. First impression, luckily, we do have the Xerneas ready to go. So, you know, hope, hope our, hold, our luck holds up in the future. There's only two Xerneas left that can fight, too. Okay. So at this point, I need to play Sycamore because I need a lot of land, a lot of stuff. I don't pull the uh, card I need, I don't, which is DCE. With that Sycamore pull. I'll shuffle them back. And that's just... That's just luck. So, here we go. All I gotta do is retreat again and hope for the best next time. Now, that's gonna take away my damage, too. We'll have to save on that. I have to thin a bit. No, I don't want to thin a bit. Yep. No. Don't got DC to attack. You gotta give him another one, and now he's like, just give me a new the goose, man. You will not have another chance to fight with your Xerneas. Not one chance. Good pick. Good pick against this deck. Okay. <laughs> Joyce Man! Oh, now, now the damage is... Ah, uh, he already popped the GX, so he can't get through these. That's why we're saving the float stone, because yeah, he might need to do this. Banana Master, got another Guzma. We'll have a chance to, uh, one more chance to attack. Get, get two prize. Get, yeah, one more chance. You know, I could have actually put the energy on here. Yeah, and then you could, but in case you don't pull that energy, then uh, I'll be okay. Yeah, I think you're right. That Volcano is messing up everything. Kinda, kinda, with Cynthia, yay! But then, uh, you know, Guzma might come out and uh, one-hit this. Okay, so armor press, we're alive. He's like, yeah! There's definitely a Guzma there. Okay, so we gotta play this to retreat. We have the Cynthia, but the Thin, I'll go ahead and put this on here. I mean, that's my uh, two-hit KO potential guy. Yeah. Well. Uh, looks like I bricked out this time, guys. I've got nothing. I'm gonna play this, like I said, if I should've put the energy on there, because you know, I'm too greedy for getting those uh, DCs. There's only 12 energies left in my deck, so... Uh, we're, go we're also gonna play Suprods, because I need these cards back, as well as energies. Actually, this is part of my uh, damage combo, so... I have to let it go. Yeah, I'm gonna put a sad fa heartbreak face. Nah, the game's grouping over this time. So... If he does, he's just gonna Guzma... No, he's gonna Guzma this out. One prize card. 
and then he'll just, no matter what, my Xerneas is gonna be, uh, it's only, well, no, we could just Guzma this out here. So this, this is the damage potential for him, my guys. Yep. Alright, and with this, I probably won't have enough damage to one-shot that. I mean, uh, I've got to send out. I, this shouldn't have a choice ban, but I had to, uh, had to retreat it because I, you know, I expected no that you know, would, 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 would be the case. I think this may be... Yeah, now the DC comes. So that we don't really have a choice of much, much, much of what we can do. We're going to throw this out. And let's see, a supporter. Just grab an end just for the heck of it. That's the only other card I don't have. Let's see, I have a DC, but not enough damage, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the best thing I can do is put a choice ban, put the DC right on this. Retreat and attack. Energy drive. Two hit this. He just needs to one hit the Coconut Master. But as a retaliation, you know, he can have, once again, Guzma and my Xerneas won't have a chance. It's just too inefficient. I need two energies. He just needs one and just to hunt down all the all the weak critical spots. So, once again, good choice. Now. We can still hit for 220. Not now. Yeah. Yeah. GG. I'll put a smiley face. Yep, that means he has a Guzma for the Volcanian. Yep. Okay. There we go. Good game, apples to choose. GG. Good game, good game. Okay. That is it. Welcome to another Rainbow Road match. I'm going to play my remix of Asgore from Undertales. Alright, done. Arceus, king of Pokemon. Hey, Dustmane. Can you take my dust my verse deck? Now let's see. Who's Holy cow. We have a bad prize card situation here. We have a bad, 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 bad prize card situation. <laughs> well that sucks. Nothing you can do about that, so keep going. You don't play Professor Sycamore? Not with this sand. Not with this. I'll play Ed. I'll play Ed. No, they were at the back of my deck. Oh, okay, that's that's a whole different story. That's a whole different story. I need the Floatstone. I need the Gavantula. Oh, this sucks. I only have one Gavantula, and I need the Retreat immediately, so... Let's get the Joltik down. So we can evolve a next turn. Retreat this. Get home. Joltik, come down right there. Maximize everything. Get one extra card pull. Hey, Parallel. Go and drop that down. No. No, he'll just throw his own stadium down. That's not going to be worth it. This is to counter your stadium, which is big. His stadium is like the game-changing thing for that, that deck. So we're going to wait on that one right there. Until next turn, where I can get more pulls with Banana Bastard. Hey, our swap finally! I found you live! Yeah! 4.50, 4.40 a.m. in the morning. You're crazy, dog. You're crazy. Yep, Super Smash and Golden Knight are the two best. Answering that question there. Hey, Dialga. This deck looks familiar. I mean, you love lots of versions running around this. It's Coconut Master with uh, Bridget, believe. Or Lily. Tam, Tam 1L. Tamiel. That's like a name of an angel. Gabriel. Gabriel. Yep, Bridget. Getting out that Magnemite Magnezone. So we want to one-shot this right away. Yeah, we want to one-shot this in the next move if we can. We might. That is very possible to get a one-shot kill if I plan everything nicely with the Cynthia here. And <laughs> we're going to parallel this right after. This is going to stink. This is going to stink. Here comes the big stink parallel. Ouch! Lele will go. Maybe Diago will probably go. That, the, these three looks very good assets for later. There we go. Okay. So we're going to throw the Gavantula down. We're going to throw the Xerneas down. We're going to pull two extra cards as well. Let's try to go for a one shot here. Oh, it's the wrong card. Hmm. I'll go with Cynthia. I'm not ready to throw this down yet. 
I need a Volcanion and something. I mean, that's worth that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> there you are. What's the damage right now? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six times three is 180. You already have the plus 10. Are you resistant to psychic or something? I'm sorry, fairy. That's enough to kill. That's enough to KO. That's enough to KO, but we want to be... We want to be greedy. Let's see, Paul Nard's here, but he's in the prize guards. We could get that last card to be Banana Master. Oh, man. Oh, man, I messed up. Yeah, you can put Paul Nard there. I'm not sure if I can pull the Paul Nard, though. But this would have been the next the next damage I pull. So, here we go. Let's do it anyways. It's too late. It's too late. Would you like to search your deck for a draw supporter? Yeah, make sure I have a Cynthia here. Or Guzma. Let's just have a Guzma here. That's it. Here we go. Rainbow Force. Goodbye. 220 damage on my second turn. Oh, come on. Oh, Choice Ban. We need that. That will be 230 damage. That means nothing survives on nothing. No GX card survives at this point. Yeah. Good luck. Good luck. I mean, he might pull it. He might pull the perfect combination where he gets Magnet Zone and uh, three energies because of weakness damage. Yeah, that's all you need. That's all here. I filled up my bench. You're going to get a lot of cards here. Guzma, going to wait. I got my Guzma myself, so I'm good. We're probably going to end, maybe? I'm not sure. Radiant Star. I want to go for this, but I can't retreat this. Or retreat to the card I need. So I might have to let it be. Three energies. He didn't have any more. Let's get this here. Choice ban. Choice ban. I don't want to end. I don't want to give you any more cards while, while you're stuck for sure. Oh, yes. Floatstone retreat. Floatstone retreat. Floatstone retreat. Not this time. Not this time. Mm, yeah. More energies. That can't be bad. Prize guards. I can find your final evolution there. Well, I can't get you home. It didn't get a floatstone. My bad, uh, Volcanion. End my turn right there. Now, if we get this down on the field, yeah, that'd be pretty good. Alright. I think I'm playing Professor Sycamore. As long as the Super Odd is still around, then I'll be not be afraid to play that. Okay. Ultra Ball. Gonna find get that Coconut Master number two, I think. I mean, that's, oh, it's Banana Master. It is Banana Master. Three extra card pulls. He's gonna make something's gonna happen. Where's the float stone? I had Guzma, but you know, if you Guzma, I would have attacked one of these things, and that would not be worth it. It's all right. He's picking up momentum now. I have an extra Volcanion. No, I don't. It's in my discard. That's why you gotta need the super odd. But hey, well, losing a Volcanion is okay. You're not gonna lose it. It's still gonna be alive. Four energies for attack. Even more energies here. We're gonna go for hunt for the float stone. Let me check out how, how what are my chances of getting that. Pretty good. Ow. Okay. I don't wanna waste this. Hunt for the float stone. Hunt for the float stone. Float stone. I'll say this for future Xerneas. Rainbow Force. 220 damage. It's only worth one prize card. You know, let's get that Bisharp out there. Yeah, it's got the Choice Man, too. It's not like we need that more damage. It's not like that we need any more damage, but yeah, it's there. Da 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 da. So I guess we didn't really need to pull that. So now it's hard for him to get his feet on the ground. He's dealing with one hit KOs pretty much everything every time it comes, every turn now. And that's what that's trying to achieve. My deck does it a little bit more efficiently. And okay. I had nothing I needed in my hand though. I was I need hoping for a DCE and to charge that up right there. 
Okay, we can stop the super rod. We definitely need to bring them back. Yeah. Up oh, is yep. Gearing up for a comeback. Gearing up for a comeback. I hope oh, maybe. Banana Master. He's like, but he has to give every prize guard every single turn. We have two super rods. That might actually be too much. Yeah, get that get that back. Get those super rod in there. Why not? Get everything back in my deck. Alright, you can still pull an extra card. Yay! I want a DC. So I don't lose a turnout. Wow, I had three of these? I'm better to save it. You got a two remove me, right? I think. I had four of these, I meant. Get that DC up there. If not, you're getting a regular. Oh! All three of them were at the next couple of sets. And the choice might come back. So let's go ahead and blast this for another 220 damage. Uh, let's go for the Guzma now. Okay. This is, uh, we're cleaning, we're cleaning, we're just cleaning house. Uh, there's Guzma right now. We can finish that Necrozma if, if, if he doesn't. So if he wasn't able to attack, I could one shot back. Yeah. So the best case scenario is you only have one, one Xerneas at a time. If you need that big extra damage. Hmm. <laughs> Banana Master's in the time stasis. He's like, he's half dead. He just needs one, two energies to be able to take me with weakness. He just needs two energies. But you're too far behind, still was not able to set up. Got, just got bricked. Just got bricked there with the uh, stage two there. I don't have to worry about any stage two, so there's a difference in uh, setup and speed, for sure, between these two. Okay, so that's... All right, my opponent, Char. He is waking up, and he's starting to play. Ah, okay. Now I know. We know what it is. It's like, oh, I don't got the new Prism Starts. I suppose it's, it's a very good card, expensive, and he did. He had an Ultra Ball that should have gone for Coconut Tapu Lele, but not yet. So we have a good lead then. You want to drop the Super Rod right now? That doesn't feel like good value. Sorry, Banana Master, you're not gonna pull for me. I'm gonna uh, drop Ace of the Roll instead. Evil Soda. Yeah. That gives me Guzma to uh, KOs, too. Now, the extra energy. Yeah. The extra energy can go here. Banana Master for the pulls. You two can coexist. Absolutely. Yeah. Awesome. 